What's up, Aries? It is Friday. Hope you guys are enjoying the start to a beautiful, prosperous, successful weekend. Either way, we are going to do a new series. Uh, are you dealing with a narcissist? With these narcissists being on the loose, it is time to tap into their energies and break some of these barriers that's on your heart, on your soul, on your spirit. But we are getting ready to tap in and see what's going on. I love it. For my Aries, what is the energy for the person they're dealing with? Is Aries dealing with a narcissist? Ooh, that authority card flipped over Aries. Let's see what's up. Beloved, is Aries dealing with a narcissist, please? Ooh, we. So, Aries, you have a firm foundation. You have patience and rest and rejuvenation. Now, Aries, from what I'm seeing, and this is so interesting, let me tell you this energy. So, the energy I'm seeing is that you are releasing yourself or have relieved your, um, released yourself from a narcissist situation. This took a hold of you for some time. Um, it seems like it seems like this is the Aries I'm picking up on is someone who dealt with this energy for years. This wasn't like, you know, a person you met and whatever. It, it seemed like someone that had been in the cycle of abuse for years. Um, this narcissist is... I don't know if it's covert narcissist or a grandiose narcissist or what type of narcissist it is, but it seems like this person, the way they play their game is it's longevity for them. Like instead of putting their their supply in narcissistic abuse cycles, they like to to keep their their supply for long periods of time and then um, exhort power over them or something. Wow. Let's go ahead and jump in and see who this person is. Beloved, what's going on with this narcissist that Aries is dealing with? What's up with the narcissist? Why is Fern Foundation here? This is so interesting because you got the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. The King of Pentacles, um, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hangman. And that's the exact energy I was picking up. Whoever you're dealing with, Aries, that's a narcissist, they like to put their person in long-term abuse. It's not, for them, it's not about the narcissistic abuse cycle. For them, it's about power. It's about control. It's about taking over you money. Um, mind body and spirit it seems like this is someone who um hates to lose like they always gotta win at any cost um this person the way i just i just can't get past this energy of they their love bombing is it's not the typical love bombing like they love bomb for longevity so then once you are like enveloped in their energy and your life is wrapped around them then they exert their control over you and their power over you it's like it's like say for example you got with someone right aries and this person you know you guys had a great time for for however long right it's like a sudden change a sudden sudden shift it's like they lock you in either they lock you in through a birth or pregnancy or they lock you in through like marriage or commitment depending upon your if you're a woman or male it just is a different type of way they go about it this person hates to lose their thing about losing oh wow this is a type of person, if they lose, they begin to stalk. 
they begin to like really make your life uncomfortable. They call you consistently. They pop up at your house, pop up at your job. Like they they follow your friends. They call your friends, call your mom. Call. It's like this type of person. This is like one of those scary type individuals that you don't want to really um, get yourself too deeply involved with because the 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 moment that things don't go their way, they gonna exhort that power. And for some of them, that power includes violence, like really taking things to the next level and the next step because they can't deal with rejection in any type of way, okay? This person, I'm, they may be a grandiose narcissist with this King of Pentacles because it's not like this is someone who's um, broke or anything like that. This is someone who plays their cards well they've been at this for years years before you but the way they exhort power is way different their power comes through intimidation in a lot of ways or putting you down or telling you that no one would want you or like you don't got fat or you know just just the the put downs the 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 let downs they this is also a person that will um will remove you from your friends and families or shut shut out your friends and family like they want this is the type of person that wants you all to themselves so they can play the games that they play with you if it's even called a game because for this narcissist they are very very serious in the way they go about getting their supplies in order which is crazy wow why is patience here Yeah, this looks like a grandiose narcissist. The Nine of Swords, the Six of Six of um, Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, <laughs> the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. You know, this th this person is the exact person I'm describing. So either this is your reading or it's not. Because this is one of those grandiose narcissists. So this person might have wine and dined you in the beginning, gave you all the things that you wanted or you desired, gave you the time, energy, attention, and affection that you desired. Like, this, this is something... That, I don't know what type of narcissist this is because this is the one that pushed you in the narcissistic abuse cycle. This narcissist that I'm picking on, picking up is one that takes like full control of you. Um, this is like a, a devil's energy because they want your mind, they want your body, they want your soul. They want you like for energy. They want you for like that, that main supply source. Like you're not going anywhere. You're going to always be there. Um, if you try to leave, it's like almost a captivity, right? Like I'm, I'm not free. I'm not free to be myself. I'm not um, who I once was or who I could be. This person just controls me. I can't do anything. I lost my friends, you know, my family. I don't see them anymore. It's like this, this whole takeover of your entire life, your entire existence. And what's crazy about it is while you're going through all that, they are in this nine of cups energy. Like maybe they do got other supplies, but for some reason, Aries, you are their main supply source. And that's crazy. This person, oh my goodness. This person has a tendency to raise their voice or to be very rude and condescending or even violent. Um, this person captures, oh my goodness. So this is someone that's handsome, that's cute, um, that could seemingly have any man or woman they want. Um, but they're just... They're a lot to handle, you know. You might be one of those people when you're around them, you just go, <sighs> because you can't speak, you can't, like, tell them anything. It's just like being trapped. So maybe this is a past energy or um, a current energy, but I'm hoping that you let this person alone and this person left you alone and they got a new supply because this, this is a crazy-ass person. Like, mm -hmm. wow.
So you got the chariot, the high priestess, the world. Oh my goodness. The lovers. The five of swords. And the seven of wands. This is not a person that lets go easily. This... <laughs> I'm trying to get the mindset of this narcissist because the mindset of this this one that I'm picking up on is that Aries, you are mine. Where the fuck do you think you're going? You're not going nowhere. You belong to me. I don't care how many men or women I see. Like, you are mine. You are like my property. Narcissists already think you're their property. For you, Aries, it's being emphasized. Like, you're not going nowhere. You're mine. Like, um, like... If if you try to move on, they'll do things to a, to like a um to a new spouse or a new girlfriend, new boyfriend or something. They'll do things to make people move on from you. They'll do things harmful even to your family. You lie to your family, and say you talk about them, or that you know you're like um, um, two faced it, or, you know, you tell they like, they'll do things to make people leave your life because this is a person that wants the full control over you. As long as they're able to exercise this full control over you, then they are fine. The minute that they're not able to exercise this full control over you, that's when the violence starts. That's where, you know, you kind of have to be on your guard for some of you. You might have a restraining order against this person or something like that. But the narcissist that I'm picking up on for this Aries is crazy than a motherfucker okay this person has no problem with exhorting their energy I mean their power even to the points of violence and fear intimidation of letting you know that they will um either fuck you up kill you or whatever like this is that type of person this person is scary okay these are the type of people that you do not like want to find out you in love with okay what else does Aries need to know about this narcissist what else what else does Aries need to know about this narcissist please and I'm going to use my real talk oracles so we can figure out what the hell is going on tarot readings mm. oh wow so you have tarot readings, missing my feminine. So they watch readings. So you must have told them about readings. Fake shit. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh no. We got thug, father, bail money. So this person could be a absolute like, um, person in the street that people don't play with like hugging the block <sighs> you know Aries I'm not sure if you introduced this person to tarot readings or whatnot but why is this this energy of manipulation coming on like um coming up like uh I'm not sure if they watch tarot readings to manipulate the t what the what type of energy is this Listen to this one, Aries, and this is something I've heard on. You know how um, tarot readers say, you know, watch watch these videos so I can pick up on your energy and like the videos and all that type of stuff. It seems like I don't know what this person does or who they are spiritually or what they do for spiritual practices, but it seems like they do tap into tarot readers. If you've watched tarot readings with this person or this person knows you watch tarot readings or you're a tarot reader, this person taps into those tarot readings and manipulates the um, readings with their energy. What's crazy is is like you wouldn't think it's possible but this person remember this person has um like a darker spirit right um so this person has that devil's energy so when you're i don't want to say that witches are devil because i'm not trying to be um judgmental but those darker energies and you know if you're watching a channel that has those darker energies versus light energies um but this person like manipulates the energy of the tarot readers like i said this person is very this person 
this person uses that external um, of who they are. Like I told you, Aries, this person is fine. This person looks handsome, good, sexy, you know, whatever. They look good, but what's on the inside of them is garbage. It's freaking trash. I mean, honestly, this person to me is so fucking dangerous for anybody that gets caught up with them. Like this is the long term. I'm not sure um, what type of person they portrayed in the beginning but you definitely found out how controlling manipulative um overbearing um this person could be you know i i wish no i don't because i like real shit real readings and so many of us are dealing with narcissistic people you see them every day in every way if you listen to people conversations it's just I don't know what happened to our society, but they're out here. And yeah, I love to do love readings, but it's not its not what I'm best at. I'm best at the real stuff, the stuff that no one else is going to tell you or wants you to know. I want you to know, Aries, that the person that you dealt with, got away from whatever it is, was dangerous in every right. If they were controlling, if they put you down and, and made you feel like shit, and this was after years of being with them, and they suddenly just shifted and changed, you are the person that I'm talking about, okay? This person, I don't know. Danger is their middle name, okay? So let's go ahead and get your angel message, get some positive energy in here, close out this reading. Beloved, what's the message that you would like for Aries to know? Ooh, 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 my boy. Mm, mm, mm. You have Archangel Michael. Why? Because you need protection. It says clarity, truth, protection. You need all of these about this narcissist. Let's see what the card says. Okay, wow. So it says, you are stronger than you know and have reserves of strength you haven't accessed yet. Whatever is going on in your life now, you got this. For love and relationships, have the courage to put yourself out there with the people you love. Walk away from people who do not have your best interests at heart. Okay, and it says, call on Archangel Michael for assistance with protection. Ask Archangel Michael to keep you safe from all forms of harm. Fear. Anytime you are feeling afraid, just call his name. Cutting and clearing negative energy cords that keep you attached to people who are no longer in your life or anyone you feel attached to in a negative way. Feeling strong and courageous. Speaking your truth and clear communication both ways. Cutting through the BS and seeing the situation with more clarity, discovering and living your purpose, your life purpose, and beginning on a returning to the spiritual path. Wow, Aries. If that's not a mouthful for the Aries I'm reading for, I don't know what it is. Because for Archangel Michael to show up with the type of narcissist that I was talking about, yes, you need to be calling on God and Archangel Michael. Like, God, please send Archangel Michael to help me, to protect me from all harm. Father God, whatever. Like, he will send Archangel Michael. This is, oh, this is so sad. Okay, Aries. <laughs> But either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP um, Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and so take care.